folks, what's happening? This is DJ Rock and Rob, and I am real excited to bring you the next best thing. That's right, the latest, the greatest. I just heard about it a couple days ago. I figured it out, worked out all the kinks, and I'm here to tell you how to do it. What are we talking about? Well, you guys have lights, right? You guys use lights on your shows? How do you control those lights? Do you use a physical controller, or do you use Show Express? I'm a Show Express kind of guy, right? I got my dongle here. This is the the uh, Express 512, and right here we have Show Express 6.27 Beta. <laughs> I've pre-programmed some shows, and there you go. Click of a button, we have our show happening. Now, for you experienced users, this is nothing new. Who cares, right? Why are we listening to this? Well, there's an added feature with this new beta, the 6.27 beta. Here it is. We have control on the phone. That's right. Android, iPhone, iPad, whatever you need, whatever you got, this is going to do it for you. All you got to do is go to your app store and download live underscore mobile. Now, it's not just that easy. There are some configuration things that you have to do on the computer as well as the phone in order to get it to work, but don't worry, I'm going to take you through it step by step. Here we have a Windows XP, and just off screen we have Windows 7. The Windows 7 machine has never been used before. Uh, it's a brand new machine. Now, what I, what I mean is, uh, this is not my laptop. This is, I borrowed this specifically for the demonstration. So it's a fresh install. We have to install the, the software and we have to poke holes in the firewall. Don't get too carried away. It's okay. <laughs> but don't worry about it. If you're not a computer genius, you just have to follow these simple easy steps and you'll be controlling your light show from your phone. Alright, let's talk about the app. Now I know it's not real easy to see, but once you download it, it's going to look like this. Okay, right here we have the preferences, the uh, live IP address. This is where you need to input the IP address of the computer. If you don't know where to find that, I'll show you in just a minute. Once you have the IP address of the computer running the software, then you're good to go. And make sure that your live port is uh, set to 7348. Now that's a default setting so you shouldn't have to worry about that but just so you just so you know. Now once you get that IP information set and uh, everything's good to go on the computer all you have to do is click connect to live. Boom. Now here are the pages that we have uh, selected inside the live app or the live program, right? Anything anything selected in here to view on the app will show up here. Here are our pages. This one is called Changers. Now, uh, when you color your buttons, see, this is Changers as well. Here's the yellow one, here's a green one. This is yellow, and obviously that's black. Well, not all the colors come through, like, uh, here's a good one. The red, the amber, blue, green, well, red, amber, blue, green, you know, not all the colors translate. Maybe that's a bug. Here, I was trying to be creative in that uh, I live in Texas, so I kind of made a little Texas flag with my buttons here, but it didn't work out on the app. Darn it. <laughs> so, don't freak out that the colors don't work. It's okay. I think, uh, I think honestly, that you have to use uh, primary colors uh, and not uh, variations thereof. Like, uh, I don't think, yes, it looks blue, but I think it's a shade of blue as opposed to real blue, you know? Red is obviously red, and, you know, whatever. But, <clears throat> anyway, the app works very nice. Uh, this page that I'm, we're looking at here on my phone, I've called Colors. So if I hit the button, then we just see red. Let's go with the green. Right on. Blue? I like the blue. <laughs> All right. 
So that's the app. Now let's talk about how to get the, the phone to communicate with the computer. Windows XP, in order to get this thing rolling, there's a couple things you need to know. Down here in the, uh, the bottom right corner, you need to find your IP address. So you right click on where you're, uh, whether it's wireless or your wired uh, little computer screen down there. Right click on that, go to status. The status window pops up and click on the support tab and here is your IP information. The IP address of this machine is 192.168.1.106. We input that information into the app right here in preferences live IP address and it's already in there you can't really see it but it's 192.168.1.106 say OK all done now now that we have the IP information we can move on find the Windows firewall if your um, if your control panel doesn't look like mine on the top left switch to uh, classic view I think it is and it'll look exactly like this so once you find the Windows firewall double click on that and here we have we're looking for exceptions and the control board. The control board is what we're going to add a port for. So, we, we name it whatever you want it to name it. It's okay. It doesn't matter. I, I chose live, right? Now, the port number 7348. And make sure that it's TCP. Now, a friend of mine very adequately uh, dumbed down the description of uh, TCP. The TCP protocol is actively requesting information. It sends out information and it gets information back and you know it verifies it, right? Whereas UDP just sends out the information and hope that it gets received. You know, it's TCP is what you want. So once you put in the port number 7348 you hit OK now for me I've already done this so we get an error that says it already exists but for you that you haven't done this then you're all set so you click OK and you're done right you click OK and you're done and now we go to Show Express. Alright, now that we got our Show Express open, there's a couple things we need to do. In the settings, under Network, you have to make sure that the, that the Live is set to 7348, and do not change the control board or the screen control. That will only cause you problems, like it did for me. <laughs> If, uh, if you do happen to change that, just click the reset and you are good to go, right? Valid settings. All applications must be restarted, no problem. What that means is the control board has a lot of different links to different uh, applications within the Show Express software. So in order for changes to be made, you have to restart the individual application. The control board is just a wealth of links. Now that we have Live open, there's just a couple easy things you have to do. Under the Live button, in Preferences, down here at the bottom, Allow Live Mobile. That checkbox has to be checked. Validate, which is just a fancy way of saying OK. Then on your pages that you have already created you have to right click on that on the page you know this one is called fun so down at the bottom make sure to click visible in live mobile that's great if uh, if this little icon is not uh, highlighted then that page will not show up in the app any page, any page here that you want to show up on your phone, you have to select the show in mobile. 
Aside from that, you're done. It's really easy if you follow the steps. Install the software, set up your shows, set up your live uh, pages, you know, that's a lot of fun. And then open up your firewall in the control board, port number 7348. In the preferences of the live, allow live mobile. Then on the individual pages, show the page in the app.